that you're giving me credit what's up y'all it's spicy af so we got a lot of catch up on you know um, kevin samuels passed away and that kind of stopped everything rest in peace to him but we got a lot of talk about because kim kardashian is definitely doing the most and i see why kanye was going crazy with her if you pay attention to yay now yay is getting his mind right now yay he sounds like himself again for a while he started to sound like a white man i know that sounds crazy but he really had y'all remember the scene on the kardashian show when kanye came to the rescue while kim was taping for the snl you know he brought back the hard drive that contained the second sex tape now ray j is over it and he is now speaking out he spoke and done an interview with daily mail let's take a look I was trying to make peace. Ray J recounts his bizarre four-hour meetup with the with clueless Kanye where he handed over his laptop that only had photos and emails of his time with Kim and set him straight about her role in both sex videos. Kanye West had no idea ex-wife Kim Kardashian already had the only copy of her second sex tape and didn't know she released Kim Kardashian. Superstar herself, DailyMail.com, can reveal. Speaking in an exclusive interview with DailyMail.com, her former lover Ray J, 41, said that Yeezy boss only got the truth about what really happened during their meeting in October. The October 8th meeting at Los Angeles International Airport port was portrayed in the Kardashians' new Hulu show as the moment Kanye retrieved the tape despite it always being in Kim's possession. Bombshell, y'all. Yesterday, DailyMail.com revealed the existence of the sex tape, which is listed on the contract she signed with Vivid Entertainment as tape Santa Barbara Sex. So she signed, y'all. Instead of the tape, which Kim41 already had, the rapper was handed a laptop containing intimate photos and text exchange between her and Ray J between 2006 and 2009. There's a lot more in this article and I would compel you to go check it out. I don't want to sit and read all of that, but I want you to take something from this. Kim already had the tape. She's had it for years. Ray J had nothing to do. He never ever uh, threatened to put that tape out because he never had it. What Kanye got when they met up, Ray J and him, was photos and text message exchanges. So he, he was stunned. He didn't know anything. Kanye was under the impression that he was picking up a sex tape. Because you know, Kanye was trying to restore his marriage with Kim. Although Kim was already dealing with another man at this time. She was already emotionally cheating with another man while she was still married to Kanye, allegedly. Okay, so here's the text. Ray J was like, why are you playing games, Kim? I've been nothing but a team player. We all had an agreement. Now you're trying to drag my name for your new show? And that ain't cool. It's messed up my business and relationships when we sat down with see that scratched out and your mom and we plan all of this together now you really are taking this lie to the next level making me look crazy i don't want to expose the real that we did but you are leaving me no choice kanye said he said you wanted the footage and i gave him all of the videos and pics and texts from me and you because i was trying to make things okay and all of the videos and pics and texts okay that's just a repeat now i realize this is another promo stunt for you unless you reach out to me soon i'm going to take it to the next level where it shows all of what we did all of the meetings and convos about the plan date and times of our meetings and the whole lie you and chris planned since the beginning this is not a threat you've been taking this too far you know what we did your mom controlled the whole sex tape deal with blah it was her idea to put out here's what kim says hi sorry i'm seeing your above dms now i'm happy to hear that you're doing well and congrats on your beautiful family in regards to your last message did you actually watch the episode because i didn't say a single bad thing about you the show filmed in real time the day in hell that i had with my lawyers when your manager threatened to release another tape that doesn't exist and my son who was five years old at the time seeing an ad with my cry face emojis that said kim's new sex tape as clickbait in roblox i was up it was upsetting to have to deal with it and i am let me see sure you can understand also how that feels if you're upset about the dildo comment it was clearly a sarcastic joke and i was laughing when i said it my my burn them to the ground comment was a generalization generalization to anyone threatening to hold this over my head 20 years later we are both parents now with young kids and careers and i'm sure you want to move on from this just like i do but your manager is the person who brought this all up out of nowhere and i have a right to share how it affected me next week's episode airs where kanye brings me the computer and he says he got back from you which shows you in a positive light for giving that to him thank you for doing that so you can see by some of that that i read that ray j tried to reconcile it he is express how that grieves him he's a father of two and he has held he has been accused of 
being the, the 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 person the perpetrator for 20 years now and he's tired of it kanye he he's flabbergasted because he was trying to get kim back y'all know he wanted really to get his family back so he was going to do anything to, to try to win her heart back in the middle of that it makes him look bad as well Kim has been doing all these different things to antagonize Kanye and what I believe because she wants content for the Hulu show. Kanye has a lot of fans. A lot of people love Kanye just because they love Kanye. I love Kanye. So with all of his fans interacting in her show, that translates to ching, 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 ching money. Now, I'm not cool with what she's doing at all. It's foul. She was dealing with another person while kanye was trying to get back with with her he was all emotionally distraught and it's no excuse for kanye's behavior in the past kim has had his back and i won't take that away from her she really i think she really loved kanye at one point but i think she just got tired of him exploding and in, in, in some of the things that he said that was embarrassing i do commend kim for sticking by his side when she did and i have been a fan of kim kardashian but i'm telling you right now i don't like how she's moving to promote her show don't do that to the father of your child don't do the things that you have done to let your boyfriend get revenge back to kanye that's just wrong like if he was going to do something do it on his own means not using a kid so this is this story y'all stay tuned for more there's more so make sure y'all tune in please like this video because you're going to give your girl some credit okay and make sure you come back for more